Hey guys, what is going on? We are back with Star Wars Battlefront, and uh, I am going to be recording like an actual video of uh, Battlefront. T well, as of right now, uh, this one's this one starts uploading. Uh, I couldn't get my words out then. Um, I just noticed because it has been a while since I've played this game, and it's been a while since I've sort of seen anything of it, more or less. Um, moving back down to Runcorn. And uh, getting everything set up again. Obviously, I don't have a PC at the moment, so I've not been able to edit fully. So I've had to stick with Share Factory, as I've mentioned before. Um, with um, this game now, I've fully updated it to what it is now. Uh, so like the um, uh, the Tatooine, I think it's Outer Rim. Uh, the Outer Rim DLC and the Cloud City DLC are both out. Um, they both launched this year. Uh, the Death Star is set to launch, um, I think it's Fall 2016, which is probably the one DLC that I'm looking forward to the most. I don't know if it's going to be a flight exclusive map or it, it could be a, a bit of both, really. Like, um, on Fighter Squadron, you'll be able to fly out around the Death Star, and then if you do something like uh, Blast or... Um, any of the other game modes, uh, I think you'll be inside the Death Star. I hope that's the case, because if there's anything I've ever wanted in a Star Wars game, it's, it's always to go inside the Death Star, because the Death Star is like my favourite Star Wars location of all time. It's just so iconic. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about is, this video was all pre-recorded. Uh, I'm just testing out, uh, well, I decided to test out. Um, they've actually added an offline uh, section of the game called Skirmish. And basically what it is, is they've added so far uh, Walker Assault, which is what you're watching right now. Um, hence why I'm doing so good, because it's not multiplayer. Um, and they've also added, I think it's Fighter Squadron. And Fighter Squadron is the one where you're flying like the Millennium Falcon or the Slave One, anything like that. Um, and it's offline, as I mentioned. So you, you can do it either on your own, which is what I'm doing right now. Or you can do it with a friend, split screen. Which I think is good. Now, one of the main reasons I think this is good is because, frankly, when this game came out, it was not finished. It was not complete in any way, shape, or form. And that's the problem. You see, I, d I mean, don't get me wrong, when this game came out and I started playing it properly, I absolutely loved it, and I still love this game. Granted, it doesn't compare to the other Battlefield games, or sorry, Battlefront, but it's still a good Star Wars game. The only problem with it is, it's incomplete. Now... Over the past couple of months, they've been adding a lot of updates to this game, sort of, and they've, well, they've been improving the game upon these updates. It more or less started when the first update packs, which I think was the Outer Rim DLC pack, which is uh, Jabba's Palace. I think that's where the main updates started taking place. I mean, over the t over the time, like, they've, they've been adding updates to sort of improve balance into the game modes. Like, for instance, when this first came out, this game mode online, it was near enough impossible to win as the Rebels. It still kind of is, but now you kind of have a chance at it, you know. Um, things had been tweaked slightly, and they made it just a little bit easier for you. Um... The tweaked designs on things, like for instance, now when you kill somebody, it comes up with the weapon, as you see just there, it comes up with the weapon that's killed them, or like, say if you're playing as a Jedi, like for instance Luke Skywalker, or you're playing as Darth Vader, when you kill them uh, with just your standard swipe of the saber, uh, it comes up saying Darth Vader. It doesn't specify what attack, but when a Jedi or Dark Lord, as he is, uh, he... Uh, uses say like a force push or a force choke it actually specifies what it is now that's pretty nifty because it's be it's being a little bit more specific you know not just saying oh you know f uh, f like me flacker jack kill blood blood it's actually showing what weapons they killed them with um and it also comes up with, like headshot and things like that uh, uplink defending stuff like that um, whereas as far as these updates go for the actual game itself, um, these ones have, like I said, I've added this new skirmish section of the game. So I feel like now, the further along into the year we get, the more that they're adapting to the game and, and fixing it up, it seems like we've got the full game right now. I mean, wh what you're seeing here is obviously pre-recorded, but when I was playing this, it was really nice because for ages, I mean, the single player thing has not bothered me in the slightest. I was a little bit peeved when I found out it was multiplayer only because the others had single player and multiplayer. You know, the single player on the other games was actually really, really good. And yeah, I was a little bit disappointed when 
I mean, I was excited, but at the same time disappointed. For the simple reason, I would have loved to have had some single-player content on this game. It doesn't bother me in the slightest, but it would have been nice to, for them to include it. I mean, they didn't include it, but it was just like training, and it, it just didn't feel right to me. But now, playing this game mode uh, offline, I'd, going into it, I was thinking, oh, well, it's just going to be like the multiplayer. It's actually quite different. Like, for instance, there are some things you can do on the single-player uh, sorry, the multiplayer that you can't do on the single player. It um, it's less of a rewarding system. So like you you earn XP on the multiplayer. You can't earn XP through this, uh, which I think is quite smart. Because you know some people could just be hammering this just to level up, and it's quite smart how they've done that. How you still earn points. You do get a point system at the end of this, but it doesn't go towards your actual XP count. You do have to level up through multiplayer only. That's a nifty little feature. Um, you, it does have difficulties on it, so uh, I'm not going to lie, I am playing on easy, or on normal, I don't know if it goes as low as uh, easy, but I am playing it on normal difficulty at the moment, because I just wanted to get a grasp of it, I am going to attempt it on hard, um, I currently have no deaths here at the moment, I think I'm, I don't know how many kills I'm on, I am quite a lot though, um, and like, you notice how many Y-wings we've got up in the corner, yeah, that's that's the kind of thing it is, obviously this is on normal, so it's, it's just basic, but you can just camp at these... Uh, you know these terminals and you can just defend them whereas on multiplayer obviously it's a lot tougher because you're actually playing against other players now personally i absolutely love this game i absolutely adore the bones of this game i've grown up with the star wars franchise when force awakens got announced i was absolutely ecstatic one of the things i will say about this game is even though they're not the most liked things about the star wars universe is i was kind of sad that this only focuses on movies like you know the originals four five and six or you know, one, two, and three, that kind of thing. Um, but it, it's kind of like, yeah, I would have loved to have seen newer Star Wars characters, like for instance, like Qui Gon Jinn or Darth Maul. I would have loved to have seen this game include some of those, but I figure because this is the first one, that that they are just going to stick with characters from the original trilogy. I think they're doing a sequel. I'm not entirely sure if they are, but if they are, I think they should include newer characters. You know, add a bit of variation. Um, not saying that the characters in this game are terrible because they're really not. I mean, I don't really like playing as Amber Palpatine because I genuinely think he's rubbish. But this is... There's a lot of variation, don't get me wrong. But I feel like in the sequel they should just add that a little bit more. And I feel like they should, from the start, have single player content like a story. You know, even if it was just like Galactic Conquest from the original. That would be incredible. That would be so cool. And I would absolutely love that. And I think loads of people would be a bit more appreciated. Uh, appreciate. Uh, uh, that's not even the word I'm looking for. I can't say the word. Uh, they, they'd appreciate it more. And the problem with EA is... Because, well, I've noticed this with FIFA. They can be money-grabbing a-holes. Now, DICE, I'm really surprised at. Because I've obviously... If you've been watching my channel, uh, I've been doing a lot of Battlefield. Battlefield 4, and, and and you know, and I'm excited for Battlefield 1, but when I play Battlefield 4, sometimes I can see why people kicked off at it. I personally think it's a great game, but when the game first came out, it wasn't well liked. A lot of people see EA games as a cash grab because they have a lot of microtransactions inside the game. I don't think this game has any of those. It is more or less just in-game currency that you use to buy your cards and, you know, your, your hook contracts. You know, things like that, but it's... I, I really want them to just put the full swing, you know, the full effort into the second one if they're doing it. Because it'll give them a chance to make a really solid Star Wars game. This one is a solid Star Wars game, but there is so much that they can improve on. You know, it kind of feels like this game is a beta at times. It feels like a, this is a beta for an actual Star Wars game. I never played the beta of this game when it came out, so I can't really, I can't really voice my opinion on that. For all I know, the beta was really good or the beta was really bad. But I know where that's where a lot of the issues about Walker Assault came from. Um, but a lot of people still have a lot of fun playing this game. I enjoy playing this game. Um, but yeah, as far as these updates go, um, I was a little bit annoyed. Like, speaking about EA being money-grabbing a-holes. Um, I think you could only ever buy the Season Pass at first instead of buying these individually, the DLCs. I was a little bit disappointed in that because I didn't want to spend £40 on a Season Pass just to play one map and get like two extra characters that did not appeal to me in the slightest because the only dlc i'm actually looking forward to in this game is the death star 
yeah, Cloud City looks cool. Yes, Jabba's Palace looked cool. But the Death Star is where it's at, and I'm sure many of you would agree with me. Even though Cloud City and Jabba's Palace are such iconic locations, they don't quite compare to the Death Star. So that's just my opinion, guys. Um, I do hope you enjoy uh, this video here. This is just sort of a brief chat about Battlefront. Um, I am rec I am recording more Battlefront content as we speak. It's, uh, it's more than likely going to be like some of my old Battlefront videos. If you've seen any of them, be sure to check them out if you haven't. Um, and I'm going to try and edit them and I'm going to try and make them as good as I have because I'm very limited on what I can do with Share Factory. But if there's anything to do, like, it's a challenge. And I'm going to try and get as creative as I can with them. So thanks, guys. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of this video. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment if you want anything else Star Wars related. I am looking to broaden my horizon with the Star Wars series. Um, you know, there's not that much out there I can do with Star Wars at the moment. But god damn it, I'm going to give it a good go. Alright, guys. Thank you. You've been awesome. Enjoy the rest of this video. And I hope you enjoy. Take it easy, guys.